Welcome back to the immigrant section with me today, the motherfucker himself, Hassan Shoudhury. What are you saying, doggy? So chilling, man. Chilling. Chillin'. How are you, man? I'm alright. Thanks right, for bro. coming here wearing no clothes at all, bro. Oh yeah, and I didn't trim. Right my, on brand. I, I love I, it. Uh, I didn't trim my legs, so it keeps me warm. And Mashallah, shit. brother. That's yeah, what yeah. I'm talking it's about. Uh, That's high level right there. It's Ramadan season right now. Yeah, yeah Ramadan yeah. Kareem so, to yeah. all fasting. Uh, today we're recording this on the second day of the holy month of ramadan right so if you're out there fasting i hope you listen to this after you broke your fast <laughs> <laughs> after, after you're done with the hand party and everything yeah, yeah right hey the book doesn't you know what i mean it's part of the book you know it's Yo. after the fast is broken you know we know the rules once the fast is broken you have a couple hours where life is normal again Right. Well, that and plus, like, well, not uh, technically, really. You're supposed to stop everything for thirty days. Swearing. Oh yeah, you're supposed to do coming. it. Coming. Right? <laughs> yeah. I guess if you're married, technically, you can still have sex, After. but you can't do it while you're fasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you gotta shower, and you know, there's all that. Oh yeah, After yeah. You come. Yo, I did not know that for <laughs> the longest time. Bro, like, I knew that, bro. Anytime I came, I knew, would make sure to pray after. So sorry to yeah, shower. Yeah, so my yeah. prayers counted. This was back yeah, in the day. I didn't, fuck yo. When okay. I had that jerk guilt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, fucking, I still have a few, but like, uh, I. I probably gotta redo so many of them, yo. I think I wasted a lot of a uh, lot of shots. Prayer yeah, shots. yeah. Fucking. <laughs> well, the shots aren't wasted. Cause, it's the cause, prayer that would be wasted. Well, yeah, because right? after after How's I, the shot wasted. Well, I'm just saying after I'm done, I just do one of these, yo. I just do one of these. Yeah. And I do one of these. Literally I, wipe your hands. I, yeah. Out. Clean your knees. Yeah. yeah. You guys not even making will do right, bro. <laughs> Those shorts are too low to pray with. If we're getting, specific. I know that is true. That yeah? is true. Yeah. What would your dad say if you started praying with those? I, shorts? I don't. I put pants on these ones, like the way. You Hell yeah! You put day. pants. Have yeah, some yeah. damn respect. Straight up, yo. If my mom would fucking yeah, it would just be right away bro one time in, in sudan i was with walking around with my cousins wearing shorts yeah and the in sudan there's not just normal police there's islam police yes yes and yeah, they yeah. cruise around and they stopped us right my shorts weren't covering my knees right, they right, started right. harassing us like what my is cousin that? had to be like oh he's a canada boy you know oh, he doesn't know he's a canada boy fair. and they're like okay and, they, and there's the, they're in a pickup truck and right, there's right, three yeah. of them just in the box yeah just laying back yeah, like yeah, literally yeah. boy scouts right yeah i know because in saudi when we use same to, shit right what's well, their name the salah um mutawa the, Oh, okay, you know, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And like when we used to play cricket, and if you don't stop at prayer time, then they come and tell you to go pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. That was always a thing. They'll do that. Oh, do they hit? Or are they actually pretty like. <sighs> I mean, no one like rebels. Pacifist. No one rebels. Like, you okay, yeah, 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 you can't be. Yeah, yeah you, that's not a like. Everybody, that's not a move. You can't be a feminist in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> you get your fucking head cut off. Yeah, you know? right. Or like a person being like, "I'm not oh, praying." Yo, you're gonna get fucking kicked in your face. Yeah, quick. You, you will pray. Like, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no one is gonna like humor that. If you say I left Islam, yo, it's over. You left life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's over. That's yeah. literally like the self destruct button in Saudi, bro. Yeah, and. and Pakistan maybe a bit too, but yeah. So, I mean, I, I was just thinking, I was like, yo, that's like how probably like a gay person feels, like that doesn't come out of the closet. <laughs> just- In Saudi? And Saudi's got a lot of weird stuff. Yo, bro. Because, they- because like, they're all, there's such a, in a boy, yeah. uh, isolated. Right, right culture of growing up right that there's so much like feminine activity and like my friends who grew up there tell me about like some guys getting raped in saudi right, right. too and shit yeah, like yeah, that yeah. you know there's a lot of rape in saudi yeah, and yeah, shit, yeah, right? yeah yeah you're pretty much done if you rape, right, right? you get right. killed yeah which i guess pretty much everywhere as you should sure but guys go down too hard because like there's so m- or you know what it is it's like the the working class right will get like like the Filipinos or some shit like that. Yeah. Like my buddy told me, like there's right. all these like clearly like gay Saudis with, with like Filipinos and shit more, like more that. Fair, yeah. I mean, I because I they can hide that shit because they're like lower class citizens. Right. Brother, yeah. Much. Well, if not, they'd be like, all right, go back to your country. We'll get another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Who fucked who? Get yeah, the fuck yeah. out of here. Straight you you want to die or do you want to leave? It's uh, well, it's not because I was I was I came here when I was 13, but I used to hear all kinds of shit like. Because it was a boy, it was a. I was in a school where it was boys and girls, but the boys would be separate and the girls would be separate. Of course, yeah. So just like everything up to and including marriages. You ever been to a wedding where the men and women are separated? Yeah, I did a comedy at one of them. <laughs> what you yo? No way, man! I stay away from those. You did comedy. I did comedy. You did stand up at a Ahmadi wedding uh, that had like uncles that were like forty plus. 
the hardest I've ever bombed. Oh, Oof. without a doubt, man. I, I, I did you the do com- all your white girl material. Yo, yo, I did. I did the comedy after the prayer. Like there was a prayer that happened, and I did the comedy right after. You that. did your normal shit. No um, way you did your normal shit. No way. First of all, you had pants on. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, you I didn't was, have basketball uh, shoes and Jordans <laughs> on. Number one, right? Tim's. Um, I was in a suit and everything. You cleaned it up. Yeah, I tried my best to like clean it up, but like I was speaking English, they didn't really understand English, and they were like, "What the, f-? like, why is this guy trying to make us laugh?" And some guy in the back yelled out, "Like, where's the food?" And yeah, then and then laughed. everyone laughed. Oh, that's the worst. Uh, to be honest, I was killed. Like, I'm just <laughs> oh, <it'd> yeah. Ki- <laughs> Even <laughs> you were laughing a little bit. I got like that's pretty funny. Yo, right? to be honest though, <laughs> Let's I, give it up for that guy. As as bad as I bombed, I stayed back and ate my food peacefully oh without a doubt you don't leave a bro i do wedding i'm seeing yeah okay. so i never leave without fucking eating yeah. a plate man of course, that's what yeah. it's all about is yeah, eating yeah. that plate because right? you know when, when you bomb you feel a little like embarrassment like, fucking you, you should uh you shouldn't have you should have fucking done good but i'm like eh, there's some shame of course yeah but i never bombed i never did comedy i've done comedy at uh weddings right but not intent i was not hired as a stand-up comedian okay gotcha, gotcha. i was hired as the mc and you ever I had MC these weddings, these yeah. brown weddings where they clearly just met. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for real, eh? Yeah, no one really knows anyone. <laughs> he kind, the guy kind of knows yeah, his yeah, yeah. his like fiance's cousin's name. Right, right. He's like it's Sarmat or something. Uh-huh. She's the one with the PowerPoint. And then someone comes up to you last second and goes, "Yo, yo, yo! I'm this person's cousin. I want to show up. I'm up next, but we're the PowerPoint's not working." Right, that, yeah. Just buy time. Yeah. Oh, fair Which, enough. You know what I mean. So how do you do that? So I just go into my act. Oh, you do I went into, into my act, act okay. and it was stu- everyone was stunned. It was amazing because oh, fair no enough. one, Expected. everyone thought it was off the top funny. Right, right, right. You know that. That's so what, even bro, even older brown men came up to me afterwards and like they did this. Like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Very good you're, job. You're <laughs> like very, even they're like okay, yeah, 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 very yeah. good. Okay. Yo, so after that brown wedding, I I, I was just. Before when I went in, I made like a little video and I was like performing in this shithole, and then <laughs> I, I put it up on Twitter. And, you know the groom fucking <laughs> tweeted the next day. He's like, "Yo, don't leave your fucking day job, you fucking asshole. This was the best thing that ever happened to you." <laughs> he went off. Yeah, that's hilarious. You're the groom has you on Twitter and you still post yeah. it. It's so stupid. Well, no, no, I, I didn't have him on Twitter before. Oh, got sent to him? No, he just found it somewhere. Like I guess he found my YouTube page and blah blah blah. On the day after the wedding, yeah, go fuck your wife. Bro. Yeah, yo, yo, <laughs> this yo. guy's like, let's find out everything that could possibly have been said. You know said. what the piece of shit thing? Because the groom walked out on my set. Yeah, <laughs> that was the fourth. Wow, part. that's yeah, that hurt. That well, I mean, if you were roasting him, that would have been pretty funny, right? Yeah, but like he yeah. just, he got bored and he, I'm like, bro, you you fucking guy, like, why would you leave, bro? Like, you hired me, but. I was hurt on uh, on that one, but whatever. The food after was pretty fucking good. Had a little conversation after with a few people, and I got paid. So yeah, okay, hell, that's what I'm talking about. That's it, man. That's it's all weird, man, being because uh, the most of the weddings I do, I done like maybe one or two white ones, but mm-hmm. they're all non-white. The right. non-white people come to me because in my uh, in my ad on Kijiji, right, right. I have a couple pictures with my buddy Fahad Pakistani. I okay. did his way. I am at his. He's my good friend, but I am okay. at his wedding. Sure. So I have some of those pictures. So I track the ethnic people. Fair enough. It's so funny, dude. I did one. I did one for like. They needed an MC last second. It was like an affluent uppity Irani wedding. Okay. And uh, <laughs> the DJ, they're like, do you know an MC? And he found me. Right. And I ended up doing it. It was weird because it's like there's this weird thing. It's all like these elegant Iranis right, in like right, pearls. Right, right. And then I'm MCing it. And there's this weird thing yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, a little like Who would wear the black guy here? Yeah, right? There's literally no black <laughs> yeah, people, yeah. bro. Like <laughs> not even even the white fucking yeah, weddings yeah, have yeah. black people. None, yeah, you know? Yeah. Fair enough. Bro, shit. the funniest thing that wedding, uh, my battery died. And there was Ferraris in the parking lot. Oh, shit. Okay? They were a fucking dad. It was a ball and wedding. Right, right, it was right, Ferrari. Right. And I remember I had to push the car. It was already dying a lot. So I right. parked it on an incline and I let it roll. I push it, re- let it roll forward yeah, yeah. and then quickly run into the jump seat, try to put it in gear and bring it back. For fucking I'm alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm rolling up my sleeve and I'm just, I'm waiting till everyone finishes their smoke and yeah, goes yeah, yeah, in yeah. and I push, 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 oh, try to jump in. That's hilarious. Dude, bro. it was the yeah, worst. The jump start. Fuck. It was the worst. Got it going. Yeah, yeah, got yeah, the yeah. fuck out of there. You, you think they'd be like, oh, that, mother- that motherfucker. Was that the MC pushing and then jumping into his own car? Maybe they would have given you some more money. Yeah, right? If please. Ferrari money. Yeah, please yo. pity me. Yeah, yo, shit. I would, I would have no shame. I miss that shit though. There, 
I feel bad for it. Imagine all these in love couples like, oh, it's going to be the perfect May or whatever the fuck the right. perfect oh, wedding yeah, is, yeah, yeah, uh, wedding yeah. season is. Yeah. They're all, it's like literally like they'll get arrested if they try to throw oh, a wedding yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. And, and SWAT would come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother was supposed to get married, uh, not right now, but in August. But uh, I guess he has to move that forward now. <laughs> yeah, something about this whole the, pandemic. The bitch left, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, she, <laughs> she was not the right fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that that is. Do you miss stand up right now? Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Big time, bro. Big time. You don't? How could you not? I mean, I I miss like maybe a little performing and yada yada, but like I'm like relaxed. Like I'm like oh, a break. Like man, I'm done with uh, this. I I was I got that break mode out of my system. What? Maybe a month in. I'm done right, with this, but man. But you, you do a lot of sketches. Yeah, just yeah, to yeah. stay creative, to stay yeah, sane. Fair enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. I need something. You're, you're the guy, like, I'm like, okay, he made a sketch. I can't be slowing down. <laughs> like, yeah. Because like, I'm slowing down, and I'm like, yo, a boss made a sketch today. Fucking, I'm slowing down. Yeah, man. I try to do a sketch every day. I know. I yo. try to drop something every Fuck. day. It takes work, yo. It does, man. I was coming up with some ideas right now. Right. I came up with a couple good ideas. I'm okay. like, thankfully, I need it. Fair like, you know, enough. I'm going to do a sketch on, like, a little TikTok video. of You know when people ask, find out you do stand-up? Have you ever worked in an office and people find out you do stand-up? I haven't worked now, but I mean... It's a nightmare. Yeah, fair enough. Because they just think, they're like, oh, what's this little, like, thing you're doing outside? Yeah. You think, uh, when are you going to be on Letterman? Like, yeah, well, like it's all the most passive-aggressive, fair like... Enough, fair enough. The worst is when <laughs> some guy at your workplace probably thinks they're funnier... And you still got to work with him? Yeah, oh, right. Oh, bro. Fucking one. I want to throw a brick at his head. Because as soon as I started doing stand-up, you're getting that outlet on stage in the mics at night. Right. Right, right. right. So now when you're in the office, you're not as like much of a fucking attention whore, sure, right? Because sure. you're kind of getting the yeah, piece yeah, yeah, at yeah. night. Sure. So that other person, they pick up the slack and they're like be trying to be all yeah, funny. Yeah, and the yeah, worst yeah. is when they're a little funny too. Oh, when they, If they even get like a minor laugh. If it's... Like, <laughs> Like, bro, fucking, I should be. I, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Fucking, yeah. You just want to kick him in the back of his neck, but I feel such a pressure when I play like cards against humanity or those funny games with people. Uh huh. Because I'm like, oh fuck, I, I gotta be the funniest. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> One other people are killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is your whole oh, livelihood enough, and career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. just dying yeah. in the score. Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah. I kill on stage though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm more of a live kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, comedy. Yeah. It's not, I'm not really prepared like this. You guys are in my crowd. Fuck. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. You ever done comedy in front of your parents? No. Mm. I have yet to do comedy in front of my parents. It's going to happen, but I think it'll probably be like a, 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 a taping I do in London or something. Like okay. Some years from now, I fair imagine enough. like I'll probably. Oh, London, Ontario. Okay. Yeah, because right, 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 right. I'd probably go to the hometown to. Oh, yeah, to do Because you got that hometown something? love, right? Okay, fair enough. People come out like to support? Oh, yeah, if oh, I'm yeah? doing a taping, if I'm taping oh, yeah, my yeah. first <laughs> hour yeah, 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 or yeah. doing my comedy album sure, or something sure, like that, sure, sure. there's going to be a lot of that love and support, right? Right on. Nice, nice, nice. So that's probably the place to do it. Your, your dad in the back, just like. Yeah, right? What did I raise? Fuck. He's got that cap and the hat thing. Is he still in Canada? My dad is, he's like divorced, remarried, but okay. he had a, like a semi-stroke. Okay. So now he's back in London, okay. like London, Ontario, yeah. like doing because of rehab and stuff like that. Okay. Or I don't know if it's, it's not rehab, uh, right. physiotherapy yeah, and like yeah, speech yeah. therapy stuff. It's not all the way where he's fucked on one side, but sure. like he can't walk that good. He can't talk that, but right, he's right, still right. there. He's still got the pimp walk. <laughs> yeah, more so, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. now he's got one leg literally <laughs> dragging. So it's pimp as fuck, <laughs> right. not dragging, but... Right. But he's yeah. back here doing all this shit, right. and he was about to fly back to Sudan. But oh shit, that'd be obviously a COVID locked all that shit yeah, down. Yeah, that's probably a good idea too. So he's just lingering right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't bring my like. I don't know if I brought my dad to one show. Like, he, I think he would look at maybe other people laughing, maybe, and then he'd be like, "All right." But if I was bombing, oof, man, he'd be like. Yeah. Four at, four years. Four at least he wasn't at that wedding, huh? Oh, bro. Well, but that would have been perfect, though. Right? Wouldn't... I would I would rather do comedy in front of, like, something that, uh, like, my parents fit into. Right. And not do... I'd rather do well, obviously. Yeah. But I that that is more appeasing in my mind you know than it, to, like, some deep, dark club where I'm killing and they're in the corner. <laughs> you know what you I know mean? What, but you know what it is? Like, when people see you, whatever they see the first time is what stays in their head. 
Yeah, so you gotta you gotta like like time it correctly. Yeah, right? well, if you don't do good in front of the people the first time, it's uphill battle. Like they have to see you again. Yeah, that impression already. Yeah, like three times yeah, to undo least. that. Oh one. yeah, yeah. And then on the fourth one, you could change. Their yeah, mind. maybe a bit. They'd be like, ah, all right, I guess you got something going on. And it's like fuck, like whatever. So. Yeah, literally, like, if you, if someone makes such a bad first impression, like, even in life, yeah. you could hang out with the person two or three or four times before you realize, oh, they're not a drunk. Well, yeah. It was that one time, right, the right. first time I met them, I thought, this person's, like, well, out of control. You like, ever had, like, any comic dudes where, like, the first time you're like, this guy's a fucking ass, but later on it turns out, like, he's not that much of an ass, but he turns, he's okay, like, he's not a fucking retard, but. Yeah, and those weird qualities of them are projected when you don't know them. Right. When they don't know the person, they project the weirdness. Right, 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 right. And right. as you know them, they become more and more regular. Sure, sure, yeah. I mean, you get to know them a bit and they loosen up and yada, yada. Fair enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, comedy is it's a weird I'm, one. Yeah. With the comics, too, like, it's just. Yeah, I miss the stage. I don't miss that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I was never that guy. I don't like to chit chat and hang around. Fair I know enough. my, pe you know, like you have your crew. Yeah. You say hi. You go right, go into right. the open mic. You see them. Sure, the show. Sure. But I'm always like trying to do a couple things at night. Right, 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 right. So you're always in and out. Sure. While bouncing, sure. not trying to be a dick about it. You right, know? right, 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 right. Fair enough. You, you have you done Zoom comedy yet online? No, I've heard about it, man. Jamie's he told me about it. I, mean, I can't do it. You can't I, do I it. I can't. I can't bring myself. That's Fair enough. that for those listening. That's like comedy just in the vacuum of like online streaming right there's yeah. no audience yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no feedback the audience is like it's it, so it works this way like every it's like, like laggy it's like so then i told him why don't you beat it twice yeah so the thing is like some people turn their mic off because they don't want to be rude because if they're eating or if they're talking to someone but they're still listening yeah so they turn their mic off and then but, people keep it on to heckle specifically. Well, right? that hasn't happened yet. Okay. Yeah, Those, I, you've done it. I've done it like once or twice. But then afterwards, I was like, and some because some of them ask you to stay online the entire time. I'm like, bro, fucking, <laughs> I gotta go, man. Yeah, this was the good part about this online shit is like, I can just fucking be on my phone in my car and say some things and just leave after. But you live can't. is the weird. You know what's weird about live? Going live on Instagram. And I've been, I've, after COVID was the first time I ever even went live. Right. I didn't even know how to go live before. Okay. Now I've gone live probably, what, four or five times? Okay. The weird thing about live is, like, it shows you a live number of watchers in the top right. Right, right, right. So you're, like, you're in the top right of your eye, you have the incoming and outgoing of people. Yeah. And in the bottom left, you have comments. Sure. And you're trying to keep your eye contact with the person you're talking yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, And, like, be engaged and be in the moment. Yeah, yeah. But you're also watching that number go up and down, and you're trying to, like, account for it. Yeah. Like, oh, they don't like this. Switch it up. Oh, they're they're dropping out. They're, I wish you could hide that number. I don't... I don't. It doesn't help. I hide the number, and then yeah, yeah. you'd be in a way better... Fair like, enough. Fair enough. But, like, I mean, if the number is, like, from 14... To seven it's like who gives a fuck like it's just i mean what? are you kidding me bro yeah, if it's yeah. if it's if it's three versus nine yeah. i want nine yeah. three is like holy fuck they yeah. really don't care about my old hamster or whatever yeah. the fuck you're talking about yeah, Shit, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you start feeling bad like i love that hamster. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now you're not even in the conversation fuck, anymore fuck that piece of shit yeah fair enough instagram fair enough. please give an option so we don't have to watch the number of people coming especially for us comedians right it's yeah. like imagine trying to do a bit and 14 people stand up out of 100 and start walking out yeah you still have 86 people yeah, 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 yeah. but 14 just walked out sure sure fair enough i mean the worst for me is like the comments because like <laughs> like I got trolls. I got trolls on my account. Yeah, you you're a troll. You you've magnetized the trolls. Yeah. I see a lot of hate around oh, your posts. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like what I'm doing it just kills me. Show I your dick, what, show your it. tits, show your fucking I'm just like fucking <laughs> can I just have a normal conversation? Guys, I'm trying to talk about the subtlety of Muslims <laughs> yeah. in yeah, in yeah, white yeah. candor. How how everybody's equal in Islam. Yeah, right? You have on your little immigrant dad. Cap yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to talk about Iman. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if... Like, I don't know. I mean, because, uh, like, here's the thing about... I'll, I just switched the topic to feminism, whatever. You, <laughs> like, this is the second time you come back. You're prepped. He's literally holding notes on no, feminism. No, no. Feminism I'm, bad, it says. If, if that's in my soul. Like, okay, things right. that are, no, feminism I'm, I'm, not I wasn't good. prepared at all, but like these are things just in my soul that just come out. They're ready to come out. Like uh, fucking 
feminism, if you want to be a feminist, you should go to Saudi Arabia and protest over there. Because that's that where they need it. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense, though. As in what? That's the most aggressive anti-feminist environment. Fair enough. But so you're saying, like, you go go to certain death almost. Right. If you're if you're a real woman. <laughs> right. What? No, no. That's like, Not if you're a real woman. If you're... That's like to- being like, if you're black supporting black... <laughs> if you're if you're black and you fight for black rights, uh-huh. go back in time and protest in front I of the slave owners. I see, I see what you're saying. It's, it's like it's, uh, it's not, okay, it's not to that degree, but you know what it is? Because everybody wants to criticize uh, the Saudi lifestyle sitting from here. But if you really gas want to is make ten a change, cents or some shit, a yeah, liter. fair enough, right? You're filling up for seven dollars. Things your views on things change a little bit. You know, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water is cheaper. Then gas. I mean, no, sorry, More gas expensive, is cheaper. Yeah, yeah it's. Uh, that's some it, crazy desert situation shit. And plus, you might find a prince. Who knows? Yeah, that's not. It's such a class system there. Oh, you bro. Oh, are you talking about like a white girl here? White girls get worshipped over there. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Who are you talking about finding a prince? Oh yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, it's, it's gonna have to be the immigrant girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that enough. would be like sick for her. Yeah. You know if, what I mean? If she can make more than like a Tim Hortons wage or whatever. Yeah, it's such a it's such a classist system. It's crazy. Yeah. Like if like if you're born into not a high level family, you got to be hot as fuck, right? To get out of, to like get out of it. Yo, I, I don't know if you're a, like a Saudi that if your prince, your dad is a prince and he kicks you out. Like yeah. I don't know what you do. Like, well, I think he. I think you probably still have access to money. Otherwise, it'd be so embarrassing well, uh, for the family. Have you ever done a trip to Mecca? No. Okay. Because we used to go from... I don't have $12,000. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> the, hajj, the Hajj is a uh, fun. Those brochures you see in the mosque bulletin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to, go to the Muslim required Mecca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Muslim required star. underlined. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it's like, like $17,000. Yeah, it is usually pretty expensive. You get you get heaven credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> that, you know Chris Rock made that joke, like, if you try to go to heaven and God's going to be like, but you ate pork, so... Fucking bye. Like, yeah, 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 it's pretty crazy though. Like my yeah, my dad prays so much right now. Like he's got a full prayer mark. I bet, huh? He does have a prayer mark a little bit, but like, oof, like he prays. Like I'm like a lot of times I'm like, bro, you're in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why? Right? You, why? Right? <laughs> you bro, my it. older sister's like that too. She's oh, like, real, eh? what? She has two daughters now, and she's reeled it back. But before she had kids, right. she was like coming to like none level religion. Oh, okay. She was like in. She was like weird OCD. Like always has wudu, right, and right, like right, right, is right, using right. like napkins to open doorknobs, and is praying not right. just the five prayers, yeah, but like seven dua ones over that. Right, right. So she's just constantly it, praying. It, is it just the brainwashing? You think that did all that? I don't know. I got to have my theories. It's not even up to me to speculate, sure. but I'll tell you the facts of it. Okay, fair She was enough. praying like three times the regular amount of five. Fair enough. And, I'm, and then once she had kids, she kind of just like, now she Jeez can't, up. she prays the five prayers. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, got yeah. two little girls running sure, around, right? Sure. Which I think is sick for her because she was deep in it, you know? Right, right, like, right. Just right. be like, oh, Abbas, you can't say that. Repent. Oh, like, fair enough. God yeah. Damn. The like, kids are crying in the background. They're like, fuck your mom. We're I'm hungry. hungry. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. That's no. She's like, it's like at a nice level right now. Okay. Because there's there's a nice balance. The I was raised in aggressive, over Overdrive. balance of Islam. Fair enough. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, like your your belly button to your knees are covered at all times. Right. That's a weird one though. That's a. Have you ever seen somebody that yeah, like, just the knees? <laughs> yeah. like, so, like the knees. Okay, I can do. I yeah. can cover the knees, but yeah. the belly button. Yeah. Swimming trunks don't go that high up. Yo. Okay. I can't swim now because you can see yeah. the attachment where my umbilical cord was. And bro, it's like there's so much weird. Islam is like there's so much of the stuff is like. I don't even know if it's this time or if it's just customs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's based on like very old stuff. It is, you know yeah, what I mean? It is what it is. I mean, I think Islam's the only religion where like we've kept it as far like to the roots. preserved. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, every yeah. other religion is like washed up now. But, like, you know, like us, be, like me being like, yo, I'm not fasting right now and it's Ramadan. Right. That. Because I'm fasting. That gets, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Who are you winking at me, bro? <laughs> I didn't and wink. also eating pork ribs. <laughs> where did you get those the, pork ribs? Yo, bro? The, the Whopper. The Whopper is a deal. It's a deal. That's why. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I I wanted to get to the level. You ever see like a white person being like, "I'm not gonna do Lent." It's like, yeah, okay, right. I don't. Even, okay, cool. Once, 
It can get to that point of during right. Ramadan, a Muslim can be. That is freedom in my mind. Sure. That what is that? Fifty years here, like, mm. you know what I mean? You because t- it, it's like either you're with people who don't give a fuck, right. or if people are in the culture, you're kind of just like a pariah a little so, bit. So you, you know? know what? I've had a few friends that told me that they were like, "Yo, I told my parents that I'm not fasting." Yeah. My parents were pissed, but they accepted it. So like I'm saying, it's too. They have to. What are they gonna be in denial about it? They're eating. They're like, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not no. But I mean, the kid could just either cower or the parents could just go ham. Like the fucking dad could just start beating the drum. Like ah, fucking, I don't know. Lock him up. Some yeah, shit. I feel so like far from that because that's Fair such enough. like early high school type of situation. Of, yeah, like, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I don't. I feel so removed from that. Fair enough. When did you turn the corner? Fully. Sure. Or like, when did it start happening? What? What? Oh, what, what, university. When I, because I was raised super. I, I was, I had, you know, comedian, you know, Fadi. Yeah. Fadi Nassar. Yeah, I had yeah. him on, and we were talking, and I realized that my like Muslim upbringing was like surgically Muslim by the book. Sure. You know, like there'd be duas taped to the back of every door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Enter with your th- left foot or right oh, foot. Say this right, dua right, right, right. on all the doors. This is the exit house dua. This okay. is the enter house dua. Right, 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 you know right, what right, I mean? Right, right. Like all of them, sure. right? So I was in, that's how I was raised. It didn't start to really uh, kind of come apart until I went to, I went to Waterloo. I went to engineering school. Okay. And I moved there and now I'm with all these Sikhs and like Kurds, Christians, all these like, Assyrians, all these different Kafirs. people, <laughs> all of them, yeah, yeah. and they all, and, and like the religious ones, right? Because everyone first year was still kind of like semi, you mm. know what I mean? We're all going to the fry prayer and stuff, but everybody that was in a different thing, they had the same conviction that I had for my thing, and right. we all thought here I was in a group in the same like degree, yeah, yeah, all thinking like one of us won't eat pork. Uh, sorry, one of us won't eat cow, sure, but he'll eat pork, right? And we right, won't right. eat pork, but mm. we'll eat cow. It just felt weird. Yeah, it's like, mm, well, how come? It? Yeah, like, here's like all these groups of people think that their thing is for sure the right thing. Fair. So it starts to come apart a little bit. And then one of my buddies, Omar, yeah. <laughs> one of my friends around me, started to unravel. Oh, shit. He started to unravel faster than me. You Yo, know what you, I mean? You're going to make Omar go and do fucking. Uh, it's a hiding? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he, there's no last name. There's no last name. Yeah. Fair enough. The friends Fair who are listening, yeah, yeah. they know who the, it is. People are going to go on your Facebook. They're going to find friends, Omar. <laughs> Bro, I still remember second year, we're driving back to. He lived with a bunch of the nanos. Like I went to nanotechnology engineering. Yeah, yeah. He lived with a bunch of the nanos. Okay. We're, it's like the chill house. We're driving over there. And he's, we're just driving. I'm, I'm driving. Right, it's right. quiet for a second. And he's beginning to like, <laughs> his Islam, his conviction is a man is beginning to like unravel. unravel. Yeah, 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 <laughs> right? Yeah. And he goes, you know, <laughs> he goes, you know, they say that. God loves you seven or seventy times, seventy-two times more than your mother. Uh huh. You know, my mother loves me so much, right. and he, and he's like just beginning to not believe how much. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I literally told him, bro, I don't want to talk about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. don't want to talk about this, oh, bro. Shit. I'm like eighteen, nineteen, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, you know. And he's coming at me head on, right? right? And so years of that, years of that, now I start smoking weed. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Sure. I, I didn't drink or smoke all through University. high school. Oh, okay. High school. Okay. So I started having met these people, started doing the illicit things that give you a different mind state. Okay. And I always had this fear that after you smoke or after you drink, you change permanently. Sure. That's how they kind of drill that into right, you. You'll right. be different. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So it's actually pretty important for you early on to get high or get drunk sure and then the next day you know have these memories or but go back to normal Fair. and realize this is just a temporary shift right this is not some corrupting poison yeah, yeah. right right. you right, know right. what i mean yeah so i started th- having that and the friends and all that and then by the time i was and i'm still praying and by the time i finished right, university right. Uh-huh. i wasn't really i would be like downstairs ripping bongs right and like smoking hookah watch and I'd go up and I'd like quickly pray asr and it'd be like four rakats I'm high I'm not I'm just Woo! like I'm so yeah, yeah, yeah. physically yeah. in the is, is the prayer different when you're high? <laughs> like I'm not stone gun but oh, I'm okay. saying like oh, like I'm still in the habit of yeah, yeah. praying right? Fair enough fair enough Cause and, like, 
you try to feel some connection. Sorry to cut you off, but like when you when no, you, my bad, I rambled. Anyway, it's all good. no, no. But I'm just saying because uh, this is important. Because when you pray, you try to make that connection. When you believe a bit, when you you try to make the little connection that there's somebody like that's looking after me or whatever. It's an amazing thing to have. Sure, it gives you faith, bro. But like Hope. when you're high, yeah, I'm just the guessing. That must be like magnified a little bit, maybe. I don't know. No, not at not all, at bro. All, right. I've been praying five times a day right. since probably seventh or eighth, uh, sorry, seven or eight years old. Uh-huh. Seven, eight, nine years old, right, starting right, right, right. there uh-huh. to the age of 19 or 20. Okay. I'm praying every day, five times a day. That's over 10 years. Yeah, fair okay? enough, fair enough. At this point, I don't, when I'm praying, I'm not thinking of God. I'm not thinking oh, of anything. Fair enough. I'm just thinking about what I have to do. The yeah. prayer is just such a habit. Sure. I'm just like, oh, four, you know whatever the rakaz good, is? You know what uh, I mean? But for all those years of high school, right. I used to study because like I used to try to get good marks, obviously, because right, right, that was right, like right. the currency of the household is sure, good marks, right? Sure, sure. So I would study. I would pray. I'd be like, please, I'd make dua. I'd make prayer. Please, God, let me kill this test. Yeah. And I'd kill the test. <laughs> okay. And I'd be like, thanks, God. Ah, uh, fair enough. Credit. Credit you. know, but, I'm, you. but I'm, I'm a smart kid. I'm right, right, putting right, in right. the time. I'm sure, learning the shit, right? Sure, sure. But I'm like, oh, God's got my back. You know what happened? Like, sometimes when you would masturbate and you do bad on an exam or like, a test. I knew it. <laughs> like, fuck, why did I jack off? <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, that porn. Yeah, right? Fuck That's like, ah, oh, damn it. I knew it. I knew yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that, that, I, I used to. There's control. always a thing to blame on your action. They tie, that's, you're raised to think like everything you do is a direct reflection of your core. Sure. You know what I mean? The results are a reflection of your core. Yeah. You did yeah, bad yeah. on the test, that means because you don't have true belief in Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, so many times, like, I heard, like, well, even my mom says, like, if you're not finding a job, just pray. And I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I came in so wound up. Okay, all right. There we go. We're back yeah. at it. Yeah, we just had a little technical glitch there. What were we, what were we talking about? <laughs> Jerking off and then doing bad on a test? Doing or bad on a test. Yeah. No, and uh, like people- Come a little closer. People going like, uh, people going like, yo, if you're not, f- do, if you're not getting what you want, just pray. Like if you're not getting a Ferrari, just pray for it. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, it doesn't work. Yeah, like yeah. That. Don't oh yeah, you were talking about like your mom saying pray for a job, right? You're like, yo, I, I have no connection. Well, no, not even that. I have no I have, I work. Like, I have employees, no, no, no. like, I was skills. Like, I haven't applied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, and she, she keeps I don't on, have a LinkedIn. Yeah, password. yeah. She keeps on praying for me, and I'm like, they're going to waste. Like, I don't know why you're praying. Like, all these prayers are going to waste right now. Like, I'm not applying for a job, so. Uh, this but, is- man, at the same time, there's a lot of ban- Religion is like, because let's be honest. Yeah. At the end of the day, whatever you think whatever your belief is right right there's 8 billion of us little creatures on this world sure we come we live our little 7 year old life right, we die right. it's nothing sure you know we're just like in the speck yeah, of yeah. this crazy right, right. life that we're right. in right Thinking we're not it. important you're not important yeah. we're not none of us are important yeah. no one is important right right, right 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 so in that sense whatever the fuck you believe or whatever you it doesn't matter make it ch- stick to whatever you believe sure and make this life enjoyable and make it make sense to you I mean, so believe or don't believe right right because Bro, my brother passed away a couple years ago. Okay. How old was he? At the time, 26. Soon 2017. Okay. When he died, yeah. I had like kind of really on. Unra- by that time, I was 25. I wasn't praying anymore. Okay. I was like pretty like, you know, the pendulum is this way. It sure. It swings back the other way. Right. So I'm like, oh, atheism. You know what right, I mean? Right, 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 right. And did I believe it? I'm just like, oh, no, I was so in Muslim Islam. Let me go the other sure. way. Sure. But when he died, I'm like left with all these like nothingness feelings but my mom had god right and i watched her mourning process with god and with like the whole notions of death sure and i'll pray for him still all these things it brings just so much comfort bro. fair enough fair enough. so much comfort in a way that i'm jealous of it i'm like it's my own lack of belief yeah yeah, yeah, that keeps me up at night Sure, sure or lets me like struggle with this right Fair so enough. like you can't look at it just like oh these are this yeah, isn't yeah, true yeah. how do you right, believe right. this stuff yeah, yeah, there's enough. no but no you can't yeah, yeah. it's not that fair black enough. and white well, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah yeah for sure there's there's a lot of uh benefit to religion uh per se because like it, it's always somebody it's a starter pack it is a starter pack and put your kids in it that's yeah all the- and like there's somebody in your corner no matter what happens yeah exactly you know what i mean like it's like no matter how bad it gets this person's in my corner like imagine you just had a life prison sentence and like oh yeah in 20 years in prison you can either think 
yo, n- you're, nothing really matters and there's nothing out there. Or you could think God has my back. Sure. I'd rather live with those 20 years thinking God has yeah, my back. Yeah, yeah, You know, even if at the end you have the same faith. Sure. Sleeping on a night-to-night basis. Right. You have a better, I think, more clear like well th- you would have to do that otherwise like you'll try to kill yourself yeah, yeah yeah you'd be out you'd be out of that yeah place, yeah, yeah yeah and it'd be hard to kill yourself in prison shit yeah they take your shoelaces i've heard uh oh if you all oh, for real eh? yeah shit. you only boat shoes in there oh no way yeah, everybody's ready to just be on boats yeah i mean i would have to stab myself with something i can't i don't know the toothbrush i guess yeah sharp, sharpen it up fucking way too much like I was thinking about that. I'm like, imagine just going to prison for 20 years and not killing yourself. Just being like, okay, I still have the urge to live. Yeah. Imagine what your mindset, how your mind has to change. Yeah, but you know what? what's even crazier than that is like people when they get wrongfully convicted and then they come out after like 40 years. Like then like trying to find hope in humanity. I know, I know. You're like, how, what? type of bullshit settlement does the state give yeah. them like eight hundred thousand yeah. dollars or some Six, shit 16, 16 kfc coupons yeah, yeah right <laughs> even if they give them five million dollars yeah what a fucking well if you're punch to the face yeah. like you know if you're 70 like how, Ex- exactly whatever they give yeah, you they yeah, took yeah. 40 years and there are those cases where oh, it's decades yeah, yeah. decades they yeah, were yeah. well i was watching that yesterday and i was like and all those guys come out pretty happy yeah because they found god yeah. and, and shit was pretty simple <laughs> fair enough because i think l- prison life is really more of like our original minds as hunter gatherers right the, before we came into the we started agriculture and we started really building cities and being in big cities yeah, 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 yeah. and like mass groups sure. and moved away from like small tribals like 150 500 people right 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 i feel like we were that animalistic mode we were in is right. more appeased in prison. Right. So I think in prison, almost like the 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 need for survival, that fight or flight instinct that has that comes way more often than it does in normal society. Right. It's almost like living in the jungle a little bit. Sure. And a lot of people can thrive as being little kingpins of the jungle. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Or yeah. find their place in that. You know. Right. 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 But I mean, just to keep your mind sane in there. Books. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a few guys that we know. Like we know Mark Hughes. We know. Yeah, he, yeah, what yeah. did he say? I mean, he was I, in for I, what? I six years, seven years? Yeah, he was in for a while. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a decent amount of time. Fucking yeah. even like three months, like that's that's a decent time for you to like, like your mind to kind of move a bit. I don't know. Yeah, my brother was in prison for two years. Oh, for real? Like, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. visit him? Yeah, I visited him. So okay. books. It's like this weird society in there, but like the man wanted books, you know? Okay, what did he read? Oh, he read a lot of like uh, Tom Clancy. Okay. And like, uh, you know, action. like all those like, yeah, they're like action, spy, military, espionage. Okay. Style, gotcha. Like gotcha. literature. Oh, to keep his mind it's, busy. Yeah. It's just what he liked reading. You know what I mean? Fair read enough. everything kind of thing. But like. Are you allowed to have TV, like a little TV or whatever? I think they have that in the common area. Oh, No, gotcha. you don't have that in your. I think in like some low level or like right, right. low security prisons right, right. you can have that shit in your cell fair enough like but a, i don't think he definitely didn't have one oh yeah like I would, TV, I would, that's pretty sick oh uh, uh, yeah i would definitely want to watch like the ra- last year nba finals in prison you like, yeah <laughs> imagine oh shit yeah, that'd yeah, be so yeah. high celebrating in prison fuck you that'd be that'd imagine be someone goes man imagine what dundas square is like right now yeah and then everyone's like so, mm. <laughs> yeah. no, back to our and then a huge riot starts. Yeah, they just yeah, get because yeah. imagine that's what happens in prison. They get so amped, yeah, and they're yeah, encaged, yeah. Sure, right? Man, yeah. It, it, like I knew a guy that was like a security guard in prison. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that must fucking every day you're thinking this mo- this motherfucker might come after me. This motherfucker might come after me, or this. Yeah, I don't know. You want to know who to trust? Well, let's stay the fuck out of prison, bro. I know. That's what's sick about prison. You can pretty much steer clear. (laughs) Yo, but you know what? For the most part. For the most part. Depending on how you choose to live. Yeah. But it's pretty easy to avoid prison, right? It's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's not, uh, unless you fuck up decently bad. But like, those wrongfully convicted, like, they found this guy's evidence. Like, some guy was just walking around with some, you know, her, that Patrice. Yeah, 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 the, the Pepsi Cola rapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, oh, fuck. That's olden yeah. time shit, man. That, yeah. Did you watch Tiger King? Yes. Carol Bennett or whatever that. Carol Baskin? Baskin? That bitch. Be- that bitch killed her husband for she sure, did. man. For sure. And it's, it shows you the state of law enforcement 20 years ago. She's like, oh, it's a. 
Oh, yeah, it's yeah. just a white lady. Her husband disappeared. It's like right. no one asks second questions. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Well, back back in the day, like you could get away with murder as long as you weren't black or Hispanic. Yeah, and it was like a small town community. Sure, it's like sure. oh, he probably ran off with Fair some hookers enough. and did blow, and he probably overdosed. You know. Yeah. Well, New Orleans, like there was one documentary I was watching on uh, this kid that got addicted to crack, and then he got shot in hood in some hood that he was trying to buy crack in. And cops just wrote that case off. They're like, we can't find him. Whatever. It was a white kid. Um, cause like back oh, it was then, a white kid. It was a white oh, kid. Oh, that's the twist. Yeah. For those yeah. of you <laughs> who made it through that, yeah. there's the twist. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, the, the whole documentary is like his dad just goes crazy and tries to find the murderer, finds him, gets him locked up, and then finds, like, just goes on this, like, uh, cocaine epidemic. I like, try to stop it. And the thing is, is like, there's this one doctor that was writing... Oh, it wasn't cocaine. Prescription for um, uh, like an- opiates. Opiates. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And there was this one doctor that was just fucking just writing them down like yeah. all this. Yeah. You're making crazy Pretty money. Impressed. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the whole thing, and they got her locked up. Blah blah blah. I think. Wait. So it was a doctor. It wasn't. Yeah. No. No. The guy got shot by some random dude in a hood. Black. Yes. Okay. Of course. Black. Like, what a question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's the reverse twist. Yeah. It's actually all lining back up. Yeah. <laughs> and he did take his rims as well right afterwards um what's it called uh, i resent that statement yeah fair enough fair enough yeah <laughs> um what's it called uh the doctor was also black oh look at that progress Shit, this is a, this is a cbc movie or what is <laughs> this, 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 this is a this is a happy story with a little this is a netflix original yeah it is a netflix original dude i was watching oceans 11 uh last night or two nights ago right and it's like the main cast is brad pitt George Clooney, right? Matt Damon, and like th- some other people. You know, he has like Bernie right. Mac and some other people, but the main people are like four white dudes. Right. I'm like, man, this you could never have that many white dudes in a row. And in the cover, they're just in a row. Right. Like now, oh, there's yeah. a 2001 know, movie. Right. Now it's yeah, 2020. Yeah. One of them would have to be Asian. If they're, yeah. assuming they're all guys, sure. One has to be black. One has to be Asian. Right. And maximum two white. If yeah. anything, it'll be like one white and one is like Hispanic or maybe ambiguous. Sure, sure, sure. It's pretty crazy because like, I mean, it's now. It's I like, like how you're saying that, by the way. Sure, sure, Because, you know, as I say <laughs> sure, I think sure, of. Abs- oh. You know, as you said, Brad Pitt, all that names. I was like, those those are the hottest guys that oh, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, there was one scene where it's like Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Yeah. And they're in the elevator and they're like, George Clooney's like this guy. He's, he's like this like poster boy for uh, like a real man right, fucking right. thief. Yeah. Burglary, but with like white glove burglary. Sure. You know what I mean? Tuxedo burglary. Yeah. And Brad Pitt is in this crazy game too. Right. He's just always eaten with his fucking highlighted blonde hair. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. somehow surviving in this fucking like ecosystem of criminals. Yeah. And there's just like, how are these two, how do they cast these two? None of them has any blemish on their face. Fair. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Well, uh, but um, seriously, it's like the hottest guys. Like, you got to have a tough man in there. Either that or like if I'm just thinking on on behalf of their wives, like let's let's because if you're a Brad Pitt's wife, like yeah. you, you're like George Clooney's around you, Matt Damon's around you, and he's like, uh, and he's like, your wife is like, but uh, no, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything with you, George Clooney. I am Brad Pitt's wife. Oh man, that's why you don't have, you don't have your significant other on set, bro. Yeah, you know, you keep people separated. You, you ever heard about uh like that uh Car Malone hitting on Kobe's wife? No. Oh yeah, cause that like uh he went to like one of the games like he was injured and he like he's like he had a cowboy hat on and then uh his wife he winked at his wife and then she was like uh, she's like uh, please don't do that. And he's like. I'm just here hunting Mexican women. <laughs> he said that to her? Is she Mexican? <laughs> she's Latina. I yeah, don't know she's Latina. Latina. Yeah, yeah. But um, NBA players, they got all the power in the world, man. Like, they can... Tony Parker, fucking... <laughs> just fucking trying to fuck everybody's wife. Tony Parker? <laughs> yeah. Is he the one with the buzz cut? He, he just said, like, a shaved... Not shaved, but, like, yeah. Is he, like... Uh, French. He's French? Yeah. Tony Parker. I'm thinking about the right one. Is he, like, Ila... Eva Longoria, yeah, 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 that guy. Yeah, he's trying to fuck everybody's well, wife. Well, he was like, he did have like a like a thing yeah, yeah this guy, this guy. So yeah. this guy was trying to fuck everybody's yeah, wife. Not everybody, but like he had an affair <laughs> with one one of the pra- like a pra- uh, player's wife. Legit, eh? Yeah, and I was like, you got such a hot like piece. teammate. Yeah, teammate. Wow, so he, man. like you're trying to That's pass, some... you're trying to pass on the ball. You're like, but I fucked you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, oh my god. I'm not even gonna give him the ball. Man, the guy's like, ball, ball, ball. He's like, man, fuck you, a bitch. Shut the fuck up. I wonder what that temptation is like on that level. Because while I'm watching, bro, have you watched uh, The Last Dance? With Michael yeah, Jordan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, episode one and two? Yeah. So I keep expecting the scene where it's like, I, me watching with my mind, yeah, yeah. I keep expecting like the lineup of women to be like, Michael, Michael. Right, right, and right, they right. just, this documentary is not showing it. Sure. Because I'm like, there has to be yeah. that end to it. Yeah. Of, of chicks just constantly throwing themselves. Y- you know what it is? In the NBA, they keep that, they, they try not to talk about it even on like the podcast, the woman part. They don't want to talk about it. Cause yeah, because it's a very fucked up like section yeah 100 percent, man of sports or whatever at least because everybody has like six baby mamas and yeah cause they have the money for it number they one the, yeah. and they're just it's just the they get their choice right yeah if you make it the bro and nowadays let's be honest if you make it into the top level like sports right nfl nba nhl right, 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 right. you're seen as like a fucking gladiator sure of like common modern day right so you just get your pick Pick of the litter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get to choose. Right. Like well, I was talking to this one girl one time years back, and she's like telling a story. She's like, and then I felt fa- uh, like she's ta- talking about some guy hitting on her right, right, at the right, bar. Right. Okay. And she's like, and then he, um, he goes, he's plays for the what team? Okay. Some NHL team. Right. She's like, so obviously I had to fuck <laughs> him. She said that, so yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. all right. So right. this is just like a hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, for her, this is not right, for right, all right, women. Right, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they get the opportunity, yeah, yeah. they're gonna. Well, not even that. Like, not all women are gonna get the opportunity to hit on fucking uh, Dwayne Wade or whatever. Or whoever. Fuck. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, his son, whatever happened after that. It won't be a hit on situation, them hitting on. No, no. But it, it, even as a woman, if you wanna hit on them, yeah. like, you have to find them first and you have to make it in a way where you hit on. Like, that's, you gotta, like, for a woman to shoot your shot at NBA players, work. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, that's not. like that's like uh, that has pension in it. Yeah, that has benefits. Right, that has a whole lifestyle right, guaranteed yeah, yeah. within it. If 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 you're successful, if you land it successfully, if you land yeah. It. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and they actually apparently in the NFL or one of those leagues, they have like. You know how they have in offices they have don't sexually harass seminars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the NFL they have like okay, gold digging bitches are gonna come. Your oh way. yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, be, watch out for this for sure. Like that's what I'm saying. That'd be a, like I'm sure Kobe didn't rape that chick. Oh, what I know mean? Tupac didn't rape that yeah, chick yeah, just yeah, based yeah. on the circumstances of sure, what happened. Yeah, these as soon as they get into that situation, they do what they do. They they do what they want to do, right. and then they have leverage afterwards. Sure, that's what it is. That right, right, after right, right. the fact, there is leverage. Yeah, where it's like, what can I? Not not saying that all chicks will do this. Right, but a smart cunning fucking evil bitch right, right. has a lot of power in that moment well yeah, yeah well not even that like if you're a white girl it's like anything happened and then yeah. your lawyers will say we got to settle this oh, big court. Time. yeah just it's give her the easy hundred thousand yeah exactly yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah. give it to her That's this why, could go for years in, right. in court well blah, tyson blah, blah. didn't do it obviously um but it's just like athletes whenever like i hear of them raping somebody i always like take a little closer look because it's just like it's such a easy one and it just happens so often yeah they're like he's big and she's small yeah and he plays in an uh, uh, aggressive league of right. course he took advantage of it and if it's a white girl oof. yeah that's what i'm saying it's like the cards are against you right away right yeah it's yeah, like yeah. no this yeah. chick was all over me yeah, yeah she dm'd me right she dm'd me right. we came she came to the place that i told her to come I, to I, I gotta, all this happened I, I gotta pause for a second because you're trying to embody what a successful athlete yeah. would go through and we got to humble a boss for a second because a boss is not a successful athlete. Slow down, no, I'm not. I can't even take a jump <laughs> yeah. shot, by the way. Literally fucked up my ankle for playing real, with eh? Jacob Balshin. Oh, <laughs> He's not bad, bro. Oh. He's not bad. Oh, really? Yeah, but I'm looking at it from their perspective. Of course, I'm not looking at it from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. a guy. I'm going to look at it from the guy's I perspective. I get you. I get you. I get you. I get you. This guy just... You stopped the whole momentum <laughs> I, 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 just to make fun I, no, no, of my fucking ball I, skills. I, no, I had to bring you down for a little second. I just... I, that's. I'll be like, they're going to DM me. <laughs> they want to soak this stuff. <laughs> then they're going to get the burn. <laughs> Bitch, now get the fuck out of here. Yeah, right? <laughs> Your Uber wits outside. Nah, man. No, I, I was listening to some podcast. Uh, what's it called? It's this one episode someone sent to me. Call her daddy. You know those chicks? Those two mm-hmm. sluts? I've, I've heard of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, these, there's two slut chicks. Okay. And they have this podcast, and they just go into the whole slut world. Okay. You know what I mean? And they have other sluts who call on. Right, 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 right. And, like these, and they're like... Um, 
like, oh, I did this. One girl calls on this. Someone sent me this. She's like, so this NBA player was coming to town. He DMs her. Uh-huh. She comes to dinner with him. And at dinner, he FaceTimes his baby mommy. tells her, shut the fuck up. Uh-huh. He FaceTimes her ba- his baby mama. Right. Because it's like mad trust issues, obviously, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. And then he takes her back. She's like, and then the chick, the slut goes, I mean, I still hung out because he said they weren't really seeing each other anymore. Or right, like right, 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 right. They fuck. He, right as soon as they hook up, he tells her to go into the living room. Okay. He FaceTimes his baby mama like in bed, oh, like 20 right, minutes right, right, like right, before right, right. bed. Oh, I love you, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Right. Hangs up, bangs her again. That's the life that these guys are playing. You know what I mean? And these chicks, these... I mean, there's fault on both ends. Sure. Scumbag move from the yeah, guy. Yeah, right, right. And the chick is like, oh, look, that's his wife on the phone. Well, I'm still going to fuck, though. Sure. And then she, he's like, go over there. Right. Like, these chicks are just playing. It, yeah, but They're just there for the ride, man. You, but you know what it is? Like, when you're And I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not mad I'm at, not anybody. Mad at yeah, anybody here. I, I, would, I don't know what I would do. Cause if yeah, I'm, I'm that, just saying this is how it goes down. That's how it goes. Yeah. If yeah. you're 20 something. These are real sluts with these <laughs> yeah. true stories that happened to a friend, if you of, a friend a of mine. you got a big ass. And good tits, the world could be yours potentially. And if you don't look like I don't know Jason, I don't know if, on your face. It's but. remarkable when there's super like attractive women in like. I don't want to say remarkable, but yeah. like it's crazy when you see a super hot chick who's super educated. Like you're like that's crazy that you're so driven. Yeah, to yeah. Do all yeah. this other stuff, you're so hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's inc- That's such crazy drive. Right. But you know what I argue like with some girl like. She's like, like I don't find a girl more attractive because she's more educated. I mean, I'm maybe a little bit. No, no, not at the education. That what comes across in conversation. If you can speak in a way where like you are generally aware. Oh, fair enough. You have like oh, I see what you're, you're witty. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm sure, not like sure. attracted to you because you have that fucking doctor yeah, yeah, visible yeah. behind yeah. you, right? It's but, what you can bring to a typical sure, conversation. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, because like I've had like some girls like, but I'm a. I'm a doctor. I'm like, well, you still got the same pussy as a McDonald's employee. Yeah, right? <laughs> they, you say it like that. You have to walk away right when you said well, that. Well, I mean, I don't think I did, but it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look back at this conversation that we were having in the second day of Ramadan. Yeah. Bro, right? <laughs> Your dad is waiting for you with a belt, bro. Oh, man. My dad is going to make me read the first uh, Sipara. You know what first Sipara? The Sipara. Fir- That's, isn't that a Japanese beer? No, oh yeah, that is also <laughs> Sephora, yeah. Uh, Sephora, <laughs> Sephora, drink a Sephora, you can. You should read the first uh, Sephora of yeah. the Quran. Um, Great beer, dude. You do a pretty good Japanese accent. Oh, yeah, way. I have a lot of years of watching anime. I've fucking, man, I struggle. Tell me anything. I'll say it in um, Japanese accent. Shit, <clears throat> I went up the stairs. I went up the stairs. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad, yes. What about Give Chinese? Some- Chinese that that starts getting just offensive, you know what I mean? <laughs> that just get really quick, you know what I'll, I mean? I'll, Japanese, it's actually I can do it dignified and there's some yeah, truth yeah, to it. Yeah, you, you, I see, I see you. Give me stuff with L's in it. Fuck it, okay. Uh, I went to the lower side of <laughs> see, Los Angeles. Why do you keep telling me where you went? <laughs> I don't know, just man. Say the lower. Um, low Ooh. riders. Low riders are the best. Lamborghinis. Uh, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I try to do the Japanese or Chinese accent. I just sound brown. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> just, it just exposes you. Yeah. Right? But like, go back to back. To I just, I just sound more brown. Yeah, I'm like, fuck. Let's hear it. Oh, you want to hear it? Fucking. Oh, um, Say, uh, combo number five comes with free rice. Combo number five come with free rice. Yeah, that was the most Seven Eleven. I immediately thought of Seven Eleven. Oh, fuck it, because you know what? I, I hot dogs. And, Hot the, hot the dog. No, that's just what I get at Seven Eleven. Oh yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't say anything again, please. Oh, and then you go sure, sure. It, you know, I fu- I fucked myself up on that one because I feel like if sure you did, yeah, yeah sure. I, I know I did. I know because if I feel like if I didn't tell you that beforehand, you'd be like, you know what? I'll give him at least a four, a four out of ten of Chinese. We gotta get a Chinese in here. Whoa. Is what it is. I've had Chinese people in here, bro. Who's uh? Who's I can't name. Let's see. Who have I had here that's Chinese? I can't. I've, this is episode fifty-one, bro. I can't. That is true. That is. I don't true. have my Fair fucking enough. Asians no, no. like categorized <laughs> yeah. in my head. Yeah. Who did I have like by Rolodex by like yeah, ethnicity? Yeah, yeah. The my fucking, dad. The racial police is here. The racial. Yeah. You must have. But yeah, I remember before you were like, I just next episode I just have a Chinese guy. Yeah, Don't even. Yeah. We've never even. Yeah. We just met in a no frills lineup yeah, yeah, the yeah. other day. Sold two meters apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a guy that works at a body shop at a fucking yeah, yeah at a Chinese body Super shop. Super racist against like 
something random. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like, like Australians. For, first question. So why did you give us COVID? Yeah. <laughs> and I'd like you to speak for Wuhan entirely. Yeah, please. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is bat soup really that delicious? I don't know how good that is, to be honest. I mean... Bat soup? I, yeah. I, I don't know. Forget about all If that you shit, were in China, if I was in China, I would for sure give that a shot. Bat soup? No, yeah. man. I mean, the pictures show it as a whole bat is in the soup. It's just in a broth. Uh, they took chicken broth and put a bat. Like, imagine a bat is yeah. la- lounging in a hot tub. <laughs> yeah. That's how they serve this bat yeah. soup. I don't want that at you all. Don't want that's not that appetizing. Even if, they, if I knew they ground the bat up in it and yeah. it's not la- lounging like that, I still don't want... There's nothing appetizing about about bat. I hear you, but there's a like, it's a rat of the sky. You don't have like a little like because I had a hot dog like with a, a centipede, not centipedes, uh, grasshoppers on it once. Yeah, but they're fried up, yeah, and stuff like that, and they're little serving. A bat is like imagine. Would you eat a rat? A, a dead rat fried, yes. In full rat form. Uh, sure. No, you wouldn't. Think, <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You're just saying it, that. No, just, uh, you wouldn't no, do it. But you know what I would do is I would cut the head off and move it away so I don't have any emotion towards it. And then I enjoy it just like. But the long ding tail is still just there. Oh, then, oh maybe I'll cut that off too. Yeah. Just so that and I don't then you have like the fucking visual. torso of a possum. Yeah, pretty much. But, it, if, fat rat. but the first bite, if the first bite tastes kind of like chicken a bit. They're all going to taste like chicken. Uh, <laughs> how are you going to go? Like, you know, you're like, this is not bad. Like, you're like. I know my next good fucking meal now on. Yeah. Based on Fear Factor in every movie ever, any meat, whatever it is, right. if it's cooked, any random weird exotic meat always ends up tasting like chicken. Right. Yeah, yeah. Dog? Dog, I've never had dog. I've never had it either. But uh if we if we uh, uh if, uh, if this was Instagram live, all of that number on the right would drop right now. <laughs> <laughs> eating and, dog and, <laughs> and you get <laughs> fucking angry white girls outside your house you yeah know, and then people would just be saying to you show me show us your dick <laughs> yeah oh yeah oh fucking my dad be like yo show, take your shirt off take <laughs> yeah. your shirt off um, a bulldog I think would taste the best cause he has the most fat yeah, I yeah right theory. definitely the most lazy dogs would yeah the, would uh, be like, delicate like fat people would taste the best decadent is that the um, word uh, fat people of course they're yeah, fatty they're fat yeah pork yeah you know what I mean? Just, yeah. So that's yeah. why people love bacon, bro. It's a half fat, you know? Crispy. Food. Oh, the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Fair the enough. thing. I remember my first time having bacon. Right. The, that was the hardest thing to, to to overcome. Right. Was the shame of eating pork. So that was so the alcohol, hardest thing. Alcohol was before that. Yeah. Okay. You know how I drank alcohol? I went through most of the university smoking weed. Uh huh. And then I was in the Navy, right? I don't know okay. if you, I was I in the reserves. Okay. I was in the reserves. Uh-huh. And I didn't do anything with the reserve. I joined right before university. And five years of university, I didn't do anything with them. Okay. So they're like, you better do it. As soon as I graduated, they're like, you better give us the time you owe us uh-huh. or you're out. So I had to go right away to Halifax and like do this training with them oh. to catch up. How long did you have to do that for? It was the summer of 2014. And that's all you have to do it for? No, I was, there was more I had to do, but I had to do three months right now okay. just to get them off my ass. Okay, cool. So I go do that three months right. in a barracks that has no weed, no like tolerance for weed. You'll get R- fucked for oh, weed. Oh, right, right, right. It's four people to a room, but every room has a mini fridge and everybody has alcohol. All, oh. in, the, in the military, alcohol, go go oh, for really? it. Alcohol, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but okay. no weed. Go okay. for it. This is before legalization. Like, go, go for it, right? Right, 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 right. So I just, one time I was just so like... I got cut off from weed so much. Right. There was blue sapphire gin okay. in, in this room. Right. And I just drank a bunch of it. Oh, for and that was really? the f- and, it, and that was the summer after I graduated university. Okay. It was when I had my first drink. And what was the first time you threw up? From drinking? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe a year or two after that. Maybe that summer. I don't remember. Oh, yeah? I don't remember the first time I threw up due to that. I, uh, I never went like right away like, Ugh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Fair enough, fair I enough. I was just like, oh, okay. Now this is dispelled as well. You know what we're saying? Like, you smoke weed the next day, you're a normal person. Right. I still had that weird thing with alcohol. Like, oh, but I'll oh, lose. Weed is normal, but I'll lose myself to alcohol. I see. And then when it was, I had to get in a situation with no weed right. before, I was like, yeah, let's try alcohol. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I mean, when, uh, the so it's like, going back to the Islam thing one time, like, I, what, what happened is like, I used to hang out with this one dude who used to go to the casino. He used to play basketball at the YMCA. We just became friends. Yeah. He was a little bit older. Like he wasn't, like I was about 19 and he was 30. 
Something like that. Okay, all right. It's <laughs> just a little weird. Yeah, yeah. slightly. But you're on the cusp. The 18 somehow makes it all right, as if he's gonna yeah, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still legal. If I said 13, it'd be like whoa. Yeah, or yeah, 17. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, this guy would go casinos and whatnot, and like he would gamble and what have you. And on the way back, one of the times, and I gambled. And on the way back, for Allah. Uh, no, continue. I lost 90 bucks. Fuck. Yeah. And your and path I've, to heaven. And I've lost a lot. <laughs> yeah. Continue. <laughs> God the is hellfire like, is waiting for you, brother. You know, Continue. God is like showing me the Casino Niagara chip. He's like, yeah. Yo, sure, re- sure. Re- remember this? <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I've lost a lot more after that. Um, but uh, what's it called? Uh, that guy, he told me, he's like, yo, if you say right now you're not a Muslim, like the cloud isn't going to break apart and you're not going to die. <laughs> and I'm like, he's he's lying. Like he's retarded. Like. <laughs> That is for sure going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I grew up in a neighborhood where there was a girl when I was young in the depths of this uh, Islam phobia. Not yeah. phobia, but Islam mania. Okay. Like 2001-ish. 2004. Okay. Fair enough. 2005. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hot for a while. Seventh, yeah, eighth yeah, grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know right, what I mean? Right. And she took her hijab off. Oh. And this is like in a neighborhood that's it's a low-income neighborhood. So right. you know the Muslims there are hardcore Muslims. Sure, sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 There's yeah. no garages, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So yeah. we go hard. To, we carpool to the mosque. Okay. You know? yeah. oh. Like that's the type of neighborhood, you know? Fuck. Bro, I remember I would f- keep a physical distance from her. Because I had never before seen such anti-Islamic oh, behavior. Oh, right. But I'm like, oh my God, she's fucked. She's right, done. Right. She's I'm, gone. You know, it's almost like... It was almost like I said, it was the Islam form of seeing her do heroin. Okay. Like, she's done. Yeah, you're like, she's not coming back. Yeah, stay away she's from this She's walking person. around. She took her head. I'm like, yo, she's, mm. you know. Yeah, she's the devil. Yeah, yeah, and now it's like, I've run into them. It makes, it reminds me how close-minded I was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those thoughts I used to have. I'm like, holy shit, how deep in was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fucking, there's still people there. You know what I was going to say? Like, religious people, like, because I, I buy and sell cars, and, like... Of course you do. I didn't even know that, but I you assume yeah, you did you it. Yeah, you got to You came in a Camry. <laughs> Last episode, you came in a fucking Mazda 3. Oh, yeah. True, yeah. true, true. Um, So, religious people, yo, they try to... Like, they always try to negotiate, and then they go, like, yo, but uh, for Allah, like, Allah will give you barakah. Yeah. Allah will give you barakah if you give me for $7,000 less, brother. And I'm like, bro... Burka doesn't feed my stomach, man. Yeah, like, right. I can't eat burka plate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can yeah. eat this bacon, though. Yeah. <gasps> and it costs money, so yeah. drop some of that cash. Oh, some of these refugees have come up, and they're oh, like... Oh, it's a team, man. Being Muslim, it's a team. That's what it all is. Yeah, but like... Right? Yeah. That's true. like, like if I go... If, if I'm a big fan of the Raptors, uh-huh. and you go... If if you... I'm a, uh, you're a brown dude. Okay. If you go to Mississippi, and you're in a bar... Right. That is known to be the one bar there that's a huge Raptors fan. Okay. There. Wouldn't you feel safer in that bar? Sure. Right? Right. It's still that team mentality. Right, right, Back right, in the right. day, we needed that to be able to oh, do yeah, business, yeah, yeah. to oh, talk. Oh, this, oh, you're sure, Muslim, sure. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on yeah. the same? Okay, let's do business. Let's talk. Let's marry yeah, between yeah, yeah. our families. Sure. This, 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 yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah, right? Yeah, fair enough. And that's still, you see it. But brother, yeah, God, yeah. brother, it's but, but, me. It, but you know what? That happens even with the... Uh, I even some... do that, bro. I go, when I'm buying hookah, oh, yeah, shisha, yeah. hookah stuff, oh, yeah. I speak Arabic, bro. Oh, yeah? I mean, yeah, that's that's like low-level manipulation. I'm like, yeah, don't give give me the out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From 30 to $25. Yeah, yeah exactly. $5 exactly $5 what it is. Yeah, yeah. Normal people pay thirty, yeah. and uh, people in the tribe get twenty-five. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. literally it. That's perfect. Give me the grape. Uh, grape I'm actually bond. gonna go pick up after this, probably. Oh, where? Get some double, you have double apple, by the way. I I don't have it on me, man, because I get. Do you have it, it at home? No, I don't have it at home. I have it like my buddy. He gave me. Okay, let's talk off here. Okay, let's fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But the best one is double apple. Man. Yeah, I'm trying and to get some like today. Yo, double let's apple. Let's talk off air. Let's talk off That one? Air. Okay, fine. No, but let's keep talking about double apple. Double apple okay, mento. Sick. Yo, straight up. Double apple mint is sick. Um, which other one? Pond? Yo, this is a great question for all you hookah smokers. What are your thoughts on if you bought orange and you yeah. bought mint and you mix it yourself uh-huh. versus buying orange mint? That's the telltale question. <laughs> You know what? I'm not that deep into it. Have you you've done, have you I, mixed I your own mixes? I've done. I've, you have because you have. had mint left yeah. and you've had something. Yes, and you've mixed. I've it. mixed that, but I haven't done the orange one. Whatever it is, okay. Blueberry, melon, yeah, 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 whatever yeah. it is. Adding your own mint. Oh, I see. You know, mint usually sucks in. It. It's like he f- makes the flavor worse. But if you put pond, 
Pan bro, makes pan it is like crazy though. Pan's like all these flavors. It's like all this. Sh- Even in real life, it's the same experience. Yeah. If you don't know what pan is, yeah. that's a fucking Pakistani dessert that yeah, Pakistanis yeah. love to say very clearly. What the pan? Yeah. No one just says pan. Yeah. Pan. Pan, yeah, yeah. Say it again. It's do it again. Pan. Sure, sure. <laughs> it, it, but it's so weird. It's so many flavors at once. It, it, it is a lot of flavors, but it's a good, it's like minty and it's strong. Yeah, but it's also sweet and like sour and you're chewing and it's a leaf. Right. You're confused. You okay. kind of want to take inventory of what the fuck you ate. Fair enough. Okay. New I, flavors are coming in. Yeah. Okay. I, cause when I'm smoking hookah, like I want most amount of flavor as possible. That's the biggest the thing. The double apple is nice for that. Double apple and pan. You know, fucking crushing it. Once you smoke, everybody who smokes for years has their like discovery phases. Oh, yeah. Where they try fucking, you know, three berry mint and sex on the beach. Right, 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 and right. fucking Sex screwdriver, yeah. all those, yeah. and then eventually Blue everybody mist. converges. Right, Blue Mist is not bad, uh-huh. but yeah, you know what I mean. Like uh, Blue Mist, uh, Irish Peach, White Gummy Bear. There's so many. The list yeah. goes on and on. The brands go on and on. Yeah, but you always converge on Double Apple. People love Grape Mint, which I can't do Grape anymore. Okay. It fucked me up. And uh, Blueberry Mint, Orange Mint, the Lemon Mint, those the sure. Alfacher, those ones. Alfa, yeah, that yeah. comes down Strong. as the base. But Double Apple as Yo, your corner. I, I've had a few people that went like, I can't do Double Apple. And I'm like, I can't hang out with you no more. Yeah, <laughs> right? It's over, <laughs> it's bro. Over, it's out. over. Yeah, man. This is... We can smoke weed maybe, I guess, but we're not, yeah, we're not. Uh, What's good about hookah is it's a sustained smoking experience without getting high or something. Because you're getting high at the same time. It's yeah. just if you were smoking that much, you'd be fucked. You wouldn't be talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'd yeah, just yeah. be like. It's it's a, it's a it's good because it can go for like an hour and a half maybe. It lasts during a movie. You got yeah. a head. You got a movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you got fucking, a good time. Uh, a boss getting turned on right now. A yeah, boss, a boss but, getting wet thinking about this. Oh, shit. Six Fair spots enough. if you play it right. <laughs> You know, five if you don't. Yeah, yeah. You know the spot game, Yo, baby. My buddy gave me this one shisha. Like, it's a box. And fuck you. That thing, like, was <laughs> so fucking sick. I'll, I'll show you the thing right afterwards. It was fucking the best shisha I think I've ever had. And you don't, you don't need to put too much flavor either. It was because like, it's a shallow head, right? Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what the fucking. Oh, it was like a whole new fucking mechanism? Yeah. It was, Jesus. It, it was better. Oh it, God. Everything was better. And, like, I was. Um, yeah, I, I just I just really miss that shisha experience. Is what it is. Yeah, God, because I, I was doing it in that little one before the, the all those mini ones. Oh, those yeah. mini ones. Fuck, because you can hide it quick. And well, shit hide like it that. quick and like like I just I was cheap and I just bought that once and yeah. little heads that the head is the size of a coal. You put one coal, yeah. all the holes are plugged. It burns immediately. It's garbage. You need at least the standard size ones. You yeah, know? it's yeah yeah. D- Double apple is uh is the way to go. Fair enough. But, bro, we've gone for it, man. Let's land this thing. All right. Let's do it. You want to... It's so weird to just be, like, plugging anything now. Cause, but but you're dropping videos, so for you, it makes sense. Okay. Uh, Hassan is the one everywhere. You're not going to see him anywhere. Yep. No but more. online. Yeah. It just fucking... Every single day, a boss puts out a video, I put out a video. Yeah, right? Literally, he's matching. <laughs> yeah. I see you for the immigrant dad. You put on the hat and the glasses, But you too. know what? To be, I'm like, yo, I'm yeah, going to no, no. fight this no, no, guy. No, no, no. I'm going to fight yeah, yeah, this no, guy. To be honest, <laughs> you, you, you can go back... Two years back. And you were doing it before? I was doing it. Okay, so he was doing first. There you go. So now we might fight still, but up from to your you. end. Oh, yeah. Up it to could you. happen. No, no, but you know what? I could imagine your dad, because every dad wears the cap, and every dad usually has glasses. Yeah, my dad had those glasses and the cap. And the cap. So, like, I, that's why I wasn't even, that's like... That's an original character, baby. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was like, I, I, I didn't even, like, second guess that he stole that thing. I'm like, that's just the I way... Was yeah. I'm not going to lie. I was mad. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. I mean, yeah. But my dad's glasses, uh, one of them is gone. Yeah. Well, my dad's blind. <laughs> <laughs> but my dad has AIDS. My dad's dead. <laughs> okay. You win. You win, bro. You, you, you're dead. You win. Okay, man. Uh, right. wait, I'll put your uh, tag, or sorry, I'm going to put your handle yeah, at the yeah, bottom yeah. of the thing cool, always. Cool. You got anything coming out otherwise? <sighs> Should. What's your Eat. TikTok too? You putting shit out Same there? Thing. Just, Hassan is okay. the one. No, but TikTok, yo. But uh, before we go off, yeah. TikTok, like you get a lot of views on TikTok. Oh, I'm going. What's your secret? Work. You know what it is? I, I'm a good looking. I dude. find <laughs> that t- they found that they. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that thing on Six Buzz? I got, I got so mad after that. I was like, fucking, made, I'm like, shit. I, felt, I, yeah. I was looking at my nails. I was like, shit. Yeah, that yeah. adds up. I was like, I'm not fat. Fuck, yeah. I cried afterwards. Yo, these bitches DM me. <laughs> no, no, I'm playing. though. I'm playing. We having fun, though. Yo, I, I, I ain't shoot a three, but shit. 
<laughs> no, but just finding the lane of what it is is like the Landing. people want kind of thing right, you know right, what right, i mean right, right. and finding the hashtags to do because oh, hashtag tiktok is different? like a weird abyss of like so many views you got to figure out you got to figure out your niche of hashtags right and then just stick to them write all the ideas in that general like i used to stick to a very specific lane of ideas right you know what i mean but now i branch out because now i have like a little bit of a following fair so even if the video doesn't do that well on TikTok, I put on Instagram, and even if it doesn't do that well on either, whatever, I made it. Not sure. to the next one, you know fair what I mean? Enough, fair enough. And now I'm doing all the, before I was like, okay, immigrant dad experiences, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, I'm yeah, like, fair what's fair funny enough. situations, yeah, 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 yeah. anything that happens that's just yeah, recreated. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah? Yeah, that's the But way I, uh, I just keep the hashtags the same. Okay. And I go for it. And you gotta go full screen. That's another thing. You do your screen on the side, yeah. you're working against yourself. You got to oh, go yeah? portrait. Yeah. Even if nothing is happening in the tops and bottom sections of yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it can't be black space. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. You got to okay, record okay. it. You record your shit on 16 by 9 and then upload it like that. You yeah. can't. Oh, okay. You got to record it natively on there. Okay. And it's a great system to record. So record on there and then use it for everything else. Sure. Put that stuff on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I do the text over there. Like, I do the, I put the text. Yeah, thing. over the black. Don't yeah. make it, f record it so that's wall up there. That's just wall. Okay. Yeah. People and then, like, and get really turned off. It has to be, if if it's a 16 by 9 aspect yeah, yeah. ratio video and the top and bottom are mostly black, right. the video has to be incredible. Because you know what it is? Because I, I, the only reason I do it is so that when I put it on Instagram, yeah. people can see the, the title. Yeah, but they don't need to see the title. Make the title the caption on Instagram. I used to oh. do that too. They don't yeah. need to. They need to on TikTok because it's like kids, low attention span. Yeah. Like they need to see it right away. Okay. But on Instagram, they'll look at the title and they'll watch it. Or they'll watch it and then they'll see what the title oh, is. Yeah, it doesn't have to be showing it. And it makes it look cheap. Oh, yeah. That big blue bubbly text thing. Yeah, that looks bubbly, cheap yeah, that on Instagram. Okay. It works on TikTok. Mm. I Stop know, doing the immigrant dad, you fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yo, as for me, uh, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, hit it with the five star share it, as always. Uh, click that follow button on Spotify. Yo, and every episode comes out full video on YouTube. I don't know if people know that. Uh, and it comes out Wednesday. This will come out on a Tuesday, and the video will always come out on a Wednesday. Check it out there. And I just threw up a, a stand up video on there because I have nothing else to do with my life. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I gave you a little seven minute set. Check that out. Enjoy it. Like it. Blah, blah, blah. Or don't. But keep it to yourself if you don't like it, though, right? Just DM me being like, you could have worked on this thing or whatever. But yeah, as always, thanks so much for listening to the Immigrant Section. Come back next week. Peace. Peace.